Hey everybody, Dawn of War 3 is finally out, so I'll be taking a look at all the elite units that you can get access to in the newest Dawn of War game. So over here we have Gabriel Angelo's Kill Team and Imperial Knight Solaria. We could get access to this in the open beta, and these units are for free. The rest of the units you have to unlock through the um, skull system that you just get through um, completing missions and stuff. You have a variety of different skins that you can actually get access to. You got Mastery Skin, and then afterwards you have the Death Watch Gabriel Angelus if you want. Same thing with these guys. They have the Mastery Skin, and then Imperial Knight Solaria has a Mastery Skin, Regular Skin, Dark Queen Solaria, which, you know, transforms her into this little beastie. Pretty cool stuff, actually. Right. So now we'll take a look at the locked units. First things first, we have Chaplain Diomedes, a, a new guy, actually. Um, he wasn't seen in the, what was it, the open beta, nor in the closed beta. From the looks of it, his in-game ability increases his speed, rate of critical strikes, applies bonuses of his critical strikes to his normal melee attacks. Bunch of stuff. You can actually even see, like, a little bit of this shown off in a video over here. And this would be his passive zeal and fury. We'll take a look at that really quick, which right now, as you can see, Diamond is gets Fury as he attacks, losing it when disabled or out of combat. Then you have Critical Strike over here. And then afterwards, you have a variety of different unlocks you can get access to. This would be the standard Chaplain skin, and then when you go to the next rank, you get a Mastery skin. If you want to. Alright. So let's go ahead and look at the next elite unit. The Imperial Knight Paladin. Now this was the unit that was shown off in the trailer. The uh, first trailer. Against the Eldar Wraith Knight. And over here as you can tell there's the cannon ability piercing shot. As well as just basically a big old giant ranged weapon. And then you have the uh, chain sword over here. With an ion shield. Pretty good stuff. Get access to quite a few things here. And you guys can pause if you want to see like more of these like abilities. There's a mastery skin if you so desire. I think I have to unlock the mastery skin as itself in order to actually like show it off. So you know what? I'll just go ahead and do that. Actually, no way. I want to save these skulls for later, so never mind. Right. So let's take a look at the Terminators. Range Terminators this time around, not melee Terminators. Got access to a wide variety of uh, weaponry, including the Cyclone Missile Launcher. So pretty good stuff. You can teleport as well. Some upgrades here and there. Obviously a mastery skin if you want to. And standard terminators. Wish I had access to a few more skulls. And then over here we have the venerable dreadnought. This will be the final um, locked unit actually. That we haven't seen in the open beta or the closed beta. Has a gigantic plasma cannon. Has a toss ability. Maximum ma maximal charge. And skulls. Little upgrades here and there that you can grab okay and then finally in terms of locked units that we have left to get access to we then have the assault terminators which you were able to get a look at in the closed and open beta and then afterwards we have Jonah Orion the librarian you can get access to in the closed and open beta Right, so let's take a look at orcs. Right off the bat, we got War Boss Gorguts. We have the Beauty the Morkonaut right there. And then we have something else. We got Storm Boys. So this is an unlocked unit. Very interesting. We didn't get to play around with this in the open or closed beta. So they they function probably similar to that of Assault Marines. Oh, except they can suicide bomb. You have a jump ability, obviously, critical strike passive. They could probably be, um, they could probably loot to get access to more powerful stuff. Here are some upgrades over here. Little unlocks here and there. 
And with all these units, you can select like um, elite specific uh, unit doctrine. Right, so let's take a look at the other stuff right now over there. That's probably the Mega Knobs. Yep. Big hulking brutes over here. Woo. I want to take a look at these guys actually when I get into the multiplayer. There's the various upgrades and little things that you can grab. Combi rockets and electric wall. All right. So next on our list will be this guy, the Commando. Woo! I love that model. Getting some Rambo vibes. I love the uh, Indiana Jones uh, hook and crane. Yeah, it's sneaky over here. Stun trap. Boom stick. His boom stick. And then you got a variety of little like upgrades and stuff that you un you can unlock. All the elite doctrines that you can get access to for this unit are over here. And that's the same for all the units. So that's why I'm not really taking a, a super duper look at them. Right. So then after that, when it comes to new stuff, then we have the Gorgonaut. This thing. Ooh. There's a super mini cannon or something. All that Daka. All the Daka. That is that is what I'm talking about. And then the Rocket Fist, which is a pretty good, uh, cool ability all around for these, like, giant mechs. As you can see, are the um, little, like, things, uh, elite doctrines you can unlock. And then there's, like, all this stuff. All right. All right. And besides that, that's about it. I'll show off, like, the older stuff as well. There's the Weird Boy. Again, he was accessible in the open beta and the closed beta. The Big Mech, Wazmaka. And then finally, the Mad Dread. Which I didn't use quite a lot, but there you go. Now finally, let's get on to Eldar. Right, so first things first, we have Farseer Maka. But then over here, we have the Striking Scorpions. Now, again, not a um, unit or elite unit you can get access to. Some abilities here and there. Oh, well, not abilities, some elite doctrines. And you got some abilities. Some passives, which are, which are nice. And then various upgrades. Essentially, it's um, some paints and skulls and all that shit and mastery skins. The works. Classic Maka's in here too, and you have like some skins for the Wraith Knight. Let's see what's the next on our list. Altark Kyre. Hmm. This is probably like one of the newer guys to come out. Skyleap. Eldritch Winds. Plasma Grenade Barrage. Then you got some Elite Doctrine upgrades and unlocks you can grab. I'm not going to really look at all this other stuff. We've already done that countless times. Right. So next we have the John Czar. This Super Banshee right here. Again, you could have seen this in the open beta and the closed beta. Same with this Wraith Knight here. Oh, actually, no. You're new. You were part of the trailer, I think. No, 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 no you were not. Well, look at him go. Ooh, I like him. Focus beam, distortion rift, jump. You always need some jumps in your life. And then finally, the last unit that's new is the warp spiders over here. Ooh. Got to teleport, four charges on that, and slow mines. And right, and then we'll go back to the two guys that I missed out on. We got the Wraith Lord, which again, you can see that in the open beta and the closed beta. And then finally, this Ranger, who was my personal favorite. Granted, he was quite the memer. And that's really it for the elite units in Dawn of War 3. Hope you guys enjoy Dawn of War 3. And if you enjoy the new Dawn of War, then please subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.